Let's hop in on the inside of the new Silverado, check out the interior. Again, I am six foot one, 215, so we'll see how the headroom and legroom and all that stuff goes once we get in here. So, door panel, synthetic wood trim, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, plenty of cubby hole spots. All that stuff's always been great on a Chevrolet. Also got power seat options, even with cloth interior and lumbar support. 10-way power seat. Pretty good looking cloth seats in here, black with the gray stitching. And I like how it has a denim look, or maybe that really is denim right there, which I've always kind of liked. I've always wondered why trucks don't put actual blue denim in their uh, seating and stuff like that. Wouldn't that look so cool? I mean, nothing wrong with a good old pair of Wrangler jeans and your Chevy Silverado. So to go ahead and get out the headroom and legroom uh, part right out of the way, we'll just go ahead and do it right now. Um, headroom's fine. I mean, take my hat off. You can see I have a ton of headroom. I mean, I know I'm not super, super tall, like 6'5 or anything. 6'1 is about average height nowadays on a man. And um, plenty of headroom in here. Plenty of legroom as well, as you can see there. Not bad. You know, there's no center console that wraps all up and through here. So you don't have to worry about your legs rubbing up on anything. It's just a nice big open area there. So I think headroom and legroom are fine in the front, and I know they're fine in the back. So here's our steering wheel for 2019. Looks pretty good. Cruise control here, heated steering wheel button there, voice command here. You can cut your phone off there if you want to hang up, and you can use these buttons here to control that center screen right there. So not too bad. On the left-hand side, you have your lighting, your light for the back of the truck back there, you have a dimmer here for the interior lights and then you have some different options here snow and sport modes and then a trailer button there that doesn't do anything I like the polished aluminum type trim here and then it has a synthetic leather there with stitching your handle on your a pillar and then in here you know nothing really new about the inside of here for 2019 but, you know, I've seen people say online, oh, you know, it's just old technology in there. Well, I mean, what all do you want, folks? I mean, tachometer, speedometer, and all your gauges for oil, water, temperature, gas, and battery. And an LCD screen through the middle. I mean, of course, this is what you'll get on an LT. If you want a big digital dash and all LCD and all that kind of stuff and a built-in big old computer sitting right there, then you're going to have to bump up to a Premier package or something that's really decked out. And um, again, I think this is just fine and dandy for your LT package. Again, everybody wants to be price conscious on buying vehicles nowadays and everybody's saying online, you know, trucks, the prices of them are rising. Well, that's because they're adding so much technology to all these new vehicles. So there has to be a price, uh, you know, the price has to go up as they add more things on. It wouldn't go down, would it? No, not so much. The screen in here looks good. The colors look great. You know, of course, it's touch screen. You got your home button there. Radio on the left. You can have your phone on the right. If you had nav in here, you could have that on there. But, I mean, this is all really nice. Audio, phone, Wi-Fi, of course, built-in, 4G. Settings, OnStar, trailer lights, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I mean, people have been asking for these things for quite some time. You got them. I mean, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I think they had that even on previous years. But still, those are two great things. And some vehicles out there don't have those things. So it's nice to have. Um, backup camera, put it in reverse. And there's your camera view right there. Now, of course, there's not like a 360 camera view or any, any extra cameras on the vehicle. That's just your traditional backup camera. But hey, you got it. It looks good. The colors look great. You got your guidelines there and all that. And if you needed to hook up a trailer, you got some information for that. It shows the line right there as well. So that's pretty sweet. Put it back in park. The camera stays on until you get to about five miles an hour. But in this case, since it's in park, it goes back to our regular screen, which is nice. Um, audio controls here, home button there. Climate control here. It is dual climate control, so that's great to have. You do have heated seats, okay? And uh, you do got, well, that's pretty sweet. I thought we had cooled seats in here, but 
I guess you can do this side on the right is just for heated on the back and that side does the bottom and the back and you got the same uh, preferences on the right side on the passenger side there um, no cooled seats in here though unfortunately but I'm sure you can get cooled on different versions or different trim levels start stop engine button is all the way down here you know I think before it was up in this area somewhere or maybe up in this area somewhere but it's right there you got the column shifter right here you do not have again a center console like on your Ford truck where you're going to be shifting here or still doing it there but a huge center console um, Chevy's giving you this as your center console and uh, and for some people this is just fine what's nice about it is it does uh, it, it can be used as a center seat right here now I don't know too many people they got people sitting right in the center but some people out there every once in a while might need to get somebody in and they can sit them right in the center right there So it's extra seating for you if you need it. There is more cubby hole spots and things like that cup holders here and um, You got a spot to throw things up there. It does open up which is nice There's no outlets no lights or anything in there and this does come up And then this opens up and you got more storage right there. How about that? So that's pretty cool. I'm liking that very clean it's a nice design for what it is okay so anyways that's pretty good I think Chevy did okay with that you do got two glove boxes right here you got one up top you got one on the bottom this one does lock that one does not another handle on the APR the only thing that I um, thought about the truck that I wondered I wish they did have for was something for these right here for these sunglasses but again you got all this storage right up in this area here you got a spot right up there so I think they are they're pretty much thinking you know you got plenty of room to store sunglasses if you need to and uh, you just got this here you got your interior LED lights okay on star and, um, and some stuff like that so anyways pretty good that's the front of the truck in a nutshell. All right, let's go take a look in the back. Of course, headroom and legroom is always important in the back of a truck. Door opens up nice and wide. Handles here to help you get in and get out. There's your back seats. Now, I will tell you, when we get in here, let me show you around a little bit in the back of this LT Silverado for 2019. First off, a lot of legroom, and that is nice. The back seat's pretty comfortable. You got a spot to throw tablets and iPads, maps, or, or uh, magazines, or whatever you want to throw in there, blueprints. Um, handle here, window button there, a little bit of storage down there, plenty of room to rest your arm here, coat hanger up there, lights up here, another coat hanger over there, your air vents finally we got air vents in the back now i've been complaining about that for quite some time finally got air vents now i can't tell you some people include myself have mentioned that these air vents are a little low to the ground well maybe they are but guess what folks just a big thank you to chevy for just adding air vents back here because i can feel the air blowing right up on me right now you also have two usb ports and a 12 volt right there so again you couldn't they, they didn't add the they couldn't put the air vents up higher on this particular truck because this right here is not a big center console like you have on a Ford okay it's a um, it's a center seat slash armrest cup holders storage area so that's why those vents are down there but they did a great job of just adding them in so if you're worried about your legs getting cold just take the vents and blow them up this way like I'm doing now and you can feel it just fine the only thing that I wish they had back here was an armrest for myself, okay? Again, there is no armrest at all back here on this LT with cloth. The RST that we filmed that had cloth interior did have a uh, an armrest, or a cup rest as I called it, because it, it held cups better than it probably held your arm. But again, it would be nice to have something coming down right here to rest my arm at. I've heard people tell me before, well, you know, if you don't want, you know, you don't want an armrest on your truck, you know, you, you, you won't complain about it. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, all these people just mumbling about that kind of stuff. Well, I'm listen, folks, I'm just saying it needs an armrest, all right? You get in the truck and go on a long drive in the back, 
and see how you feel. Now, we can accommodate for that. If I bought this truck and didn't have an armrest, I could stick some pillows back here and rest my arm, and we'd be just good to go. So we could work that out if we need to. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, it's not a deal breaker, but it would be nice to have one, that's all. Um, and it would be nice to have the actual uh, the things that open up right here for storage behind this seat that the RST had, because it did show me that even with a cloth seat or leather seat, they made that really cool way to open this up and have some storage inside of that seat there. I thought that was really cool. So Ford definitely went over and beyond with that, but I do not know why they just don't add it in standard on most of the trucks. But again, like I said, there's got to be ways to cut costs so the price isn't super, super high on just an LT version. Other than that, headroom's fine. Plenty of headroom, plenty of legroom. We are good to go. We don't have a window that opens and closes though, all right? And so that's one thing I've noticed. I haven't seen one that opens and closes yet. I don't even think the RST had a back window that opens and closes. So, um, you know, but how often are you really, guys that drive trucks or ladies, can you please tell me in the comment section, how often are you using that back window? And what purpose does it really make? Other than if you got your dog back there throwing it a bone or, uh, you know, throwing a Coca-Cola can back there. I really, you know, or maybe the kids are riding back there and you're out there camping or something. I get it. But um, but how often really are you using the back window to open and close other than maybe cruising around at the beach or something like that? I don't know. It's so hot outside, I'd rather just keep the windows up and keep the cool air in. Mm -hmm.